beginning to look a lot like Christmas here on Storytime Village of the Show. On today's episode, we're celebrating the holiday season. We'll have a visit from a Nutcracker princess, learn how to make holiday cookies, and even go to an event where we'll see the jolly old Saint Nick himself. Our Storytime visit features the Christmas classic, The Night Before Christmas, read by Wichita Mayor Jeff Longwell. You're in for a treat. So come on, let's take a look at the story. Story time visit. So it was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, now Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder, on Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. 
He was chubby and plump and right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all of the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him explain as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. That story always gets me in the holiday spirit. One of my favorite parts of the story is when Santa calls the reindeer's names. Can you remember their names? Let's see, there's Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen. Hmm, who are we missing? That's right. Rudolph, that red-nosed reindeer. What was your favorite part of the story? Write us and let us know what you thought about today's Storytime visit. Hi, Rhonda. Hi, Leroy. Don't you just love the holiday season? Hi, Prisca. Howdy there, Miss Prisca. Yes, I love this time of year. Christmas cookies, beautiful lights, and everyone seems to be in a wonderful mood. That's right. My horse is even a little happier this time of year. <laughs> I'm so excited about Christmas, it makes me want to cheer. <laughs> cheerleader, cheerleader, Rhonda the cheerleader. Cheerleader, cheerleader, Rhonda the cheerleader. I'm excited too. So excited, I want to sing my song. It's Leroy, it's Leroy, your literacy cowboy. It's Leroy, it's Leroy, your literacy cowboy. Gonna lassle up those letters, gonna lassle up those words. It's Leroy, it's Leroy, your literacy cowboy. Well, guys, do you know what time it is? It's time for Word of the Day. <laughs> That's right. Rhonda and Leroy, it's time to help the boys and girls out there learn a new word. All right, let's do it. Rhonda and Leroy, in our story, what were hung by the chimney with care? I know, stockings. That's right. So, Leroy, do you know the definition of a stocking? I sure do, Miss Presca. A stocking is a long sock or something similar hung up by the children on Christmas Eve for Santa to fill with presents! <laughs> yes, you got it, Leroy. I can't wait to see what Santa Claus puts in my stocking. <laughs> okay, in order to spell the word, we need to begin with the first letter. Leroy, can you help us with that? Sure. 
The first letter in the word stocking is S. Let me get out my rope and lasso us up a letter S. <laughs> Yeehaw! Now that we have the first letter, Rhonda, we need one of your cheers to help us spell the word. Okay, but I think I want to sing it this time. S T O C K I N G. Why don't you sing it with me? S T O C K I N G. What does that spell? Stocking. Now you try it, kids. S T O C K I N G. All right. I think they've got it. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, Leroy, for helping the boys and girls out there learn a new word. Yay! Yay! Merry Christmas! <laughs> Yeehaw! What says Christmas better than Christmas cookies? We're here in my mom's kitchen. I have Ashton and Talia, and we're going to make my mom's special sugar cookies. They're a Christmas cookie recipe that you can make at home. So are you ready to make cookies? Yes. yes. All right, let's go. Good morning, Ashton and Talia. Good morning. We're gonna make sugar cookies. Now, sugar cookies are our favorite cookie that we make at our house uh, every year. I have one son that has to have sugar cookies. So we're gonna try this recipe. So will you put a uh, stick of butter in my bowl? Just dump it in there. Talia is putting the butter in my bowl. Thank you. And Ashton, will you put another stick of butter in there? Just lift it up, dump it in there. Just, this is a pretty easy recipe. I'm gonna pour this, because it's kind of tricky. This is oil. A cup of oil goes in there. Okay. Now, Ashton, will you put in one cup of granulated sugar? Dosing? Yeah, put the whole thing in there. Thank you. And Talia, would you give me a cup of powdered sugar? There we go. And guess what? I'm getting ready to start this mixer and we're going to blend this together. We're gonna beat it till it gets really creamy. put in some eggs. I'm gonna put in one egg at a time. Our cookies are ready to put on the cookie sheet. I'm gonna let you guys do this. We're gonna make us up some, and you gotta stir it really good. Ashton, you're gonna do three drops of red in here. Whichever color you have in there. Stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. I like to take this so my cookies will be uniform, okay? And I'll take this and I take it in my hand. That's why we want clean hands. We roll it into a ball and then, okay. These are your cookies, you're gonna eat them. So you wanna make them nice. And you say, voila. I have to be very careful. Okay, they're ready to go in the oven. So I've set the oven to 350 for nine minutes. It's going to set it for nine minutes. And then we'll have to wait. So how do you like it, Tina? It is very good. How do you like it, Ashley? It's the best Oh, wonderful. <laughs> you are so dramatic. I love it, bro. I, I'm glad you like it. These are great, Mom. Thank you. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Hi, my name is Sydney Mansaw, and I am a student at Northeast Magnet. I love to dance, and I have been doing ballet since I was two years old. For 10 years, I've been doing the Nutcracker. It is a magical Christmas ballet, and one of my favorite scenes is marzipan, so let's take a look. Thank you. 
Leroy, do you have a good holiday riddle? Hmm. Well, let me give it a try. I got one. What do you call a snowman in summertime? What do you call a snowman in summertime? Hmm. You always add card riddles, Leroy. I don't know. Let me see if my friends at the Cookies with Santa event know the answer. Oh, I'm sorry, that's not it. Oh man, well, if that's not it, Leroy, what's the correct answer? A puddle! A puddle. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeehaw! <laughs> well, I have a riddle for you. What did the salt say to the pepper? Hmm, what did the salt say to the pepper? the answer? No, I don't. That's okay. Let's see if our friends out at Cookies with Santa know. <laughs> That's funny, but not It's season's greetings, but good try. Hey, Leroy, you have any other riddles? Yes, I have a good one. Who delivers Christmas presents to dogs? Well, yes, let's ask our friends. Uh, I know. The correct answer is Santa Paws. That's really funny, Leroy. <laughs> Think you've got a good riddle? Send it to our website for your chance to be featured on Riddles on the Road. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> It's time for family time with Miss Jean. So grab your parents or your guardians and let's talk. Season's greetings, Habaragani, Cox Maya. I'm Miss Jean, your Wichita Griot. It's the most wonderful time of the year when people all across the globe are celebrating holiday tradition. Just like reading. The best and most enduring tradition starts in the heart and soul of your family. Today's Storytime Visit features the classic Christmas story, The Night Before Christmas. This story has been a Christmas favorite for many families over the years. Now that you've heard the story, let's talk about it. Today, during family time, we're going to talk about traditions. A tradition is the sharing of customs or beliefs from generation to generations. The night before Christmas is a celebration of all of the traditions of the Christmas holiday. This season is celebrated all across the world. How do you celebrate the holidays? What are your family's traditions that have been passed down? Families, tonight, during your story time, have a discussion about tradition. Share some stories about your favorite holiday moments and traditions passed down. Finish your family time talk with a good book. Pick out a new book to read together tonight. You can visit our website for book picks, activities, and more family time stories from me. See you soon. Our field trip today is Cookies with Santa, Storytime Village's event at McAdams Recreation Center. It's a fun event for the entire family with cookies, crafts, and so much more, even books. And that jolly old Saint Nick himself is here, and he's handing out books and taking pictures. Let's take a look. you gonna make? Snowman? Cool! Well, it's cold outside, so the snowman won't melt. We gotta put some 
purple on my face. That's nice. That's really nice. Ooh, I look so pretty. Aww. Hey man, I like your Christmas tree. You're taking your time, doing it really, really good. That is awesome. Keep up the good work. This is slow cooked hot chocolate. It's starting to smell good. Uh oh. Maybe I should put some more. Think I should put some more chocolate in there? Yeah, yeah more chocolate. Okay, let's put some more chocolate. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Can you spell chocolate, Rhonda? C H O C O L A T E. Chocolate! Yay! It's so good to see everyone. I've just flown in, I left my reindeer and my sled. It's on the top of the building. This one right here is Pete the Cat. He says Christmas. All right. I've been real good this year. Awesome. But <laughs> well, what about you, God? Well, I try to be good. Well, you got to do more than try. You've got to be good. Well, I've been checking, checking my list and checking it twice. <laughs> <laughs> She would ask me another question. <laughs> <laughs> I've been mostly good. I think I'm gonna go get some more cookies. More cookies. Yay! 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 Book picks. Hi, my name is Melissa. I am the children's event coordinator here at Watermark Books, and I've got your Christmas book picks for you. We're gonna start with Pete the Cat Saves Christmas by Eric Litwin and James Dean. In this, Santa is sick on Christmas Eve and he can't deliver the presents at all, so Pete the Cat helps him. And it's a big, awful, hard task, but Pete knows he can totally do it. He does it a little bit at a time, and over the course of the evening, he gets it all done, and Santa is very, very thankful for it. Um, next we have Red and Lulu. It's written and illustrated by Matt Tavares. Um, in this book, a couple of cardinals are living in a tree when it is cut down and um, the girl cardinal is still in the tree and she's taken away and the boy cardinal wants to be with his partner so he flies all over the country looking for her and he ends up in New York City where he finds her in the Christmas tree on Rockefeller Square and they're so happy to be together again that they sing Oh Christmas Tree and they enjoy the Christmas lights and then they decide to stay in Central Park. It's very, very cute and the art is beautiful. And the next one, Snowman at Night by Carolyn Buher and the pictures by Mark Buher. Have you ever wondered what happens overnight after you build a snowman and it's kind of melty in the morning? Well, it's because the snowmen are out partying all night. They have sled races, they drink hot cocoa, they go all over town. They basically stay up all night partying. And in the morning, they're so tired and that's why they're slumpy. And now you know. <laughs> 
And the very last book we have is The Twelve Slaves of Christmas. It's written by Sherry Dusky Rinker with illustrated by Jake Parker. In this book, Santa's sleigh has been broken and he can't fly it anymore. And so the elves decide what they're going to do is have a competition and build a new sleigh for Santa. And they build robot sleighs and pirate sleighs and monster truck sleighs and it, bigger and bigger and better and better, except for the littlest elf decides that what Santa really needs is to fix his own sleigh, which is, of course, the one Santa chooses. But that's not going to stop the elves. They're going to have a party with the rest of the stuff. And that is the 12 Slaves of Christmas. We hope you enjoyed today's special holiday episode. If you're still making your list for Santa, don't forget to include your favorite book. Visit our website to watch past episodes of the show and hear Storytime Visits time and time again. Remember, reading will help you imagine, learn, and grow. We'll see you next time here at Storytime Village, the show. Merry Christmas. Let's go to Storytime Village. 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 Storytime Village.